Hello, and welcome to They Don't Sleep. I believe this is some kind of a zombie game involving a baby. And we need to defend the baby. Kaya, can we stop for a second? Rob, what now? <sighs> I'm worn out. I wish we at least had a stroller. Quit your nagging. I'll get the truck fixed when I'm damn well ready. I didn't say anything about the truck. You're always complaining. First you went about getting the tools to fix the truck back in town, then carry the baby, now this stroller shit. So if you say one more word about anything, I'm gonna find out what genre I'm in and die real quick here. Who is that? <sighs> Brain noises. Zombie noises. What the hell, Scott? Is that you? Are you drunk again? Something's wrong with him, Rob. I can see that. Shut up and hold the rifle while I check on him. God forbid he be a zombie. Maybe you shouldn't. He might be a zombie. Scott? Hey, Scotty. It's me, buddy. Are you a zombie? What the hell? Ah, get off me. Hurling. Dying noises. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, baby, but you're going to have permanent hearing damage for life. Rob? Rob, are you? Yeah. Rob? What? What? What just happened? Chewing noises. Everything went white, and then this is impossible. I shot you. Then I missed. Then I missed when Rob. Is this a second chance? I can't miss this time. Well, I didn't miss. You missed, lady. Mm, just die! <laughs> Call me a complainer, will you? Complain about these brains? Yeah. I I shot him. I killed him. I killed Zombie Rob. No, he was already. What was he? A zombie? I couldn't say that. That would give away what genre I am. I can't be genre savvy. Oh god, what am I going to do? My baby's probably deaf from all of this. Kai is hyperventilating. But that is the sound of a baby crying. <sighs> One step at a time. I, I've got you, sweetie. Mommy's here. There's two commas there. That's a typo. Let's get you out of this cold. Press escape to skip. Ooh, we have actual stats and stuff here. We need diapers, baby formula, food, snacks. What's the difference between food and snacks? Alright, ammo, fancy cricket. Well, I will give them points for actual, like, unique inventory up here. Next zombie wave, show character. Okay, cool. Adrian's first day on the planet. <laughs> I have to protect him whatever it takes. 10, October 4th, 99. December 10th. It's the third day since Rob died. I've killed seven more of those. God, they're zombies, aren't they? I'm becoming genre savvy. I might survive this. I can't believe they wrote... I just wrote that. I need to go to town and get tools to fix the truck so we can escape. If only my idiot friend, husband, whatever that was, Rob, hadn't been an idiot, we might have survived and escaped by now. I'll have to get some supplies while I'm there. I'm terrified. What if I don't have any more free second chances by whatever that flash was? I don't know how long my plot armor will last. We'll get toolkit in town. James Day for must be holding baby, pick up baby. The baby doesn't need anything, alright. Okay, so I have like active real time here. It's getting dark too, this isn't good. Don't forget my needs, we're gonna go find out where we can get like shotgun or whatever we had earlier. Oh, well, hello. Oh, I can't leave here right now. Nice. Alright, so forget food for the moment. Oh, we might need food for the moment. Hang on. Whatever needs is low, refill it with one of marked objects before you run out. Failing to maintain your needs will cause you to go... Will cause you to time loop and restart. That's interesting. Space to pause. We get soup. A lot of extra food if we cooked soup. Bath is for stress. That is for rest. We can take care of the baby in the baby's room. Ammo, stress, and rest in the couch for a quick thing. How do I go to town then? Oh. 
Shut up, baby. No one cares. Mommy's killing zombies to save your ass. Oh, do you constantly lose hi- Oh, that's a problem. You start Stratsville. Ha, <laughs> strategy. Stratsville. Prepare shop with the gas pump, dollar store, and a spot office. Think it's civilization. Okay, so I do need to come back and take care of the baby, because I'm guessing their hygiene goes down when they're wet or messy or whatever. I can make it to Chelsea. Maybe we'll be alright. I have to try. She's got a fishing boat. Here's a picture from September 2nd, 1997. Okay, level up. Be more accurate, handle more guns. Definitely gonna work on. Oh. I thought I had multiple points here. We're definitely doing fitness. I right, so gotta go change the baby's diaper or their hygiene is gonna go real south real fast. Come on, kid. That's not what I meant to do. I get a lot of XP for that. Hey, get off my fence! Get off of my fence! Right, the baby and I both need food. Okay. Oh, max of 12 on the stats. I thought I had 12 points to spend. Okay. Repair faster, parenting. Fewer tantrums, faster diaper change, walk faster while carrying. Yeah, I don't think that's, uh, you get magical parenting skills like that. I think parenting is just universally a pain in the ass. You could be bad at it, but I don't think you'd be really great at it. Less stress from zombies and parenting. Cook faster, better meals per pot. Yeah, let's get, let's get cooking before. Let's go grab a snack and let's take care of the baby real quick. Baby need food. Where do I give baby food? Oh my god, get off my fence! I have a baby to feed here. I have myself to feed here. I'm about to time loop, I get it. This is a problem. I ran out of food on myself. Alright, understand. Loop to loop, restarted. All the way at day one. Great. You suck the game. Alright, so now I know I don't have to go find my gun. I can just go straight to town off the bat because I need to go straight to town immediately. Get the repair kit. I don't need any other supplies immediately. I'm just going to leave the baby at load at home. Oh, we did get our levels up. That's interesting. I should have gotten more on the supply run. I guess we get to keep our levels despite our loop. Oh yeah, because it's in, in universe we're looping. It's not just randomly game mechanic. That's neat. Put some soup. Nice. We're going to cooking better soup after I shoot this sucker. You dropped ammo for me. I need food, I need rest, I need a stupid baby to rest. This is a really interesting survival game. For a wave survival, especially compared to everything else I've seen. Where do I give the baby food at? Okay, I can just sit. Okay, so here you get food. Shut up. Go back in here. I have soup. I'm gonna sit down while you murder my fence. Then I'm gonna shoot you and go take a piss. Get off my fence, bitch. That's what I thought. Quiet night. No new zombies till morning. Thank God. We <laughs> just lay flat on the bed for rest. That's nice. Oh, I didn't think I was getting up. Oh, well, whatever. Need more food. I'm gonna need to repair the truck at some point, but for now, let's farm a few levels. And then... Go to town, grab some shit. So 
Food I definitely need. Oh, I can bring back a shit ton of stuff. That's nice. Make sure the baby is taken care of. What the hell are these things? Oh, I have to get a bunch of stuff for the car? Screw that. We're just gonna fill up on... Ooh, fancy car kits are expensive. They're heavy. And we get a lot of baby supplies, we're gonna get a lot of food supplies, and then... Deal with everything after that. The fence is good, I can need a lot of repairing. Hey, look at me! I'm outside the fence! Come get me! Labo. Oh, screw you too, buddy. Okay, that was a nice long-range shot. Take a bath for the moment. There we go, nice and stress leave. Baby! Some comfort and food, we'll get you changed in a minute. I have zombies. Mommy has zombies to murder. Probably shouldn't call it murder, but whatever. Keep working on that cooking skill. Mommy may have missed. Don't question it. Yeah, we'll get food in a minute. Shut up. Shut up, stomach. You're not the boss of me. That is a lot of heavy shit. Alright. We'll get one fence repair kit on the assumption we made it in later. That's a lot of ammo, too. That's not good. Grab a snack before the wave. Shoot some suckers, get some rest. There we go, higher cooking. Now we can make a better soup. The couch is for a quick rest, or we can... Almost out of ammo, I should go to get more up to the bullets and gun safe in the bedroom. Kept bullets, he's dead now. Let's cook some soup, then we can sit down, that'll get us both rest and uh... Come on, I had to clean the pot. Get off my fence. I'm busy here. That was supposed to give me rest while I was there. Alright. Uh, fitness, because we don't want to keep losing out on uh, fatigue. Oh, we're out of ammo. Let's take a piss. Let's go take a nap. Get some more bullets. Alright, this is getting uh, pretty tenuous here. Bad situation. Maybe needs to be taken care of. Badly. Mommy needs some rest. Changed, get you fed, murder everything that's daring to touch my fences. We are stressed, we need food. Even more fitness. Oh my god, get out of here. And we're going to hit reset again. Damn it! Well, we are like the magical mom, so... I think our supplies reset, but our skills do not. I could be wrong on that. Either way, we're really getting the hang of this now, and those upgrades from experience should really help us. I don't know if this is possible to do on one run or not, but I really like this so far. Gotta get the toolkit all over again. Stacks are probably a bit more important, but... Bring all that back. Go get some more. A little bit of stress management. 
Being a single mother is hard enough without having to murder all these zombies. Ooh, a rare time. Less time between shots until end of loop. Okay, that's neat. So it's a per loop item. That's very neat. We'll get a. Nah, we don't need fence repairs. We don't need ammo. Diapers and formula are important. Diapers are nice and light. Alright. Take care of the baby, get some more food. Or maybe cook some soup. And take care of the baby. Which requires surprisingly little uh, actual help and upkeep, but then again, this is like a magic day night cycle here, so who cares? Right, take a whiz. Go get more stuff for the truck. God knows how many times we're gonna have to loop around here. Like how much shit if this one asshole John had gotten his shit together the first time? All right, so if you do a single run, clearly pump up your strength as much as you can, because that's apparently what we really need here. Okay, that would let us get two truck items in one go if we had it. That fitness, yeah, fitness. Take care of the baby one more time and start working on the truck, I guess. Who's out there? Oh, there you go. Nice. I love how you get experience for taking care of the kid, too. Your comfort, here's my food. I feel like going to the bathroom should definitely be stress relief. And yes. But hey, what do I know? I'm only human. I like super mom here, slaughtering all the zombies. Get off my fence! Jackass. Have to clean up the baby in a minute, get some more food. I wonder if brown means it's going down faster as opposed to it being low. How many car parts does this thing need? Jesus. Also, I'm pretty sure spark plug isn't that heavy. Now we can do a little more stress management. A little bit of work on the car. Okay, so we have to put in each thing individually. That's good to know. I need to take a bath, take care of the baby, get some food. Stop throwing a tantrum, you piece. I get it. That's what the tantrum thing was in the options. You have to actually take care of them. Just like owning a real baby, I presume. I would have no idea. Right, we need food. Get off my fence. I'm trying to eat soup. Yes. Back to town. Take a bath. Take a... Take a dump, take a bath. Finish up the car and get the hell out of here. We get one, bring two fence kits in case we need them in the future. We're certainly not uh, fixing this fence. And maybe we'll do one more trip into town for. Uh... What the hell is this? Oh, and. One more trip in town for more ammo. Zombies may be pounding at the gate, but that's not a reason for you to not stop and take a whiz, guys. Alright, whatever needs to be taken care of, then let's get to work on that car. Hygiene, you just need food and comfort. 
Now you need hygiene. Alright, baby is good. Mommy is off to murder some zombies. And get back to work on the car. Why are you having a tantrum? I need to fix the car. Oh, he's thick. I need to fix the car anyway. Mommy has a large rate of zombies to murder. And I can't- I cannot cancel out of an action, apparently. But I still do get XP, even if that was completely unnecessary. Oh, did he drop a fence kit? Nice. Zombies are bringing me what I need just to murder them. We really gotta go to town soon. Let's fix the car, make some soup, get the car. For accuracy a little bit. Oh my god. Why are you having a tantrum? We're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. There's no time for that now, child. Alright, Bobby's coming, just let me murder this zombie on our friend. Come on! I'm about to die of hunger. A reset of hunger. Snacks, 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 snacks. Got gun handling up a little bit. I really don't want to reset now that I got this rare gun. Run out on supplies, I have to go down and get more. Yeah, no shit. I already have what I need for the truck, I just need to not die here. Not get overrun by the zombies. Not starve to death. There's a lot of stuff out there for me. Eat some soup. Gonna need to take a nap soon. Out here. Oh, this bag. Snacks. Okay. I gotta get inside and take a nap while the zombies are attacking. Oh, we're not gonna make it, are we? Rest, rest. No! We missed the couch by five seconds and had to restart our loop. Oh, there's even an achievement for that. That's painful. Screw you two, game. Alright, so parts only this time, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, the mattress pad. Ooh, and it's light too. A mattress pad is lighter than a spark plug. Whatever you say, game. I think it said something about lying down. Like how we're in town and we can immediately sense the baby crying from town. I can sense zombies approaching my child. I must return home to slaughter them. Make some soup so we have food. Eat some soup so we're not hungry. Bathroom. These are mostly topped off. Let's finish gathering everything we can in town. Oh my god, I just left, kid. You wanna come to town? Fine, you're dragging you to town with me. Oh my god, child. It's a zombie apocalypse. We don't have time for this. I'm slower with the baby. I don't care. Does baby affect our weight limit? No, then I don't care. Do they affect our weight limit? Guess we'll find out. Nope. Baby does not affect weight limit. Babies are weightless. Good to know. More fitness so we can keep moving stuff. I think I need to dump these off before I pick up whatever's on the ground, probably. If our baby's with us, do they complain less? 
hope so. I'm never getting hungry, whatever. Okay, then we do have to put the baby back down at some point. Fair enough. Get out of here, I need to take a nap. Thank you for dropping ammo, I assume. Get some more food. Get the next bowl of soup ready so we have it prepared in time. It's probably going to be cold. Bathroom. Hopefully the baby doesn't get pissed off, and then we can go to town for more parts. Oh my gosh! Like clockwork. I'm trying to leave here, kid. We're gonna go. We're gonna perpetually be stuck in this time loop because you, you'll stop crying all the time. Fine. We'll put on parenting skills. Game is so unrealistic with parenting as a skill. Piss off all the actual parents out there. The zombies are realistic, but magical parenting, now that's where I draw the line. What's the dot sight too? Next shot after miss always hits until end of that's interesting. Alright, more stuff to care for the baby. Can we like hire a babysitter while we're in town? Like just feed, trade some brains to one of the zombies and like, here, take care of this baby and then I'll bring you more ba brains. Okay, so we could have the bath prepared without af having to actually get into it. That's interesting. Pity I can't take the, shoot the soup outside and start shooting with it. That thing. That more. Ooh, caffeine! Someone brought us a coffee. Talk about Zuber Eats for zombies. Uber Eats. New Zombos delivery service. Okay, so the battery should be the last of it. We're gonna pick up a bunch more ammo. We need a lot more baby formula. We need a lot of food too, don't we? I wonder if I let them break down the fence, can I then uh, just walk out through the fence and not worry about the zombies anymore? Or is that another loop restart thing? Hey, is that caffeine? I think that's caffeine. It looked like caffeine. Alright kid, let's take care of you, then we'll take care of ourselves, and then we'll get ready to run off again. I think now we can start on the, um, screw you, large wave, car. Working out here in the dark on the car. Picking off zombies in the dead of the night. We are truly super bomb. up our ammo. We'll need a bath at some point, but for now let's get this uh, car working again. Oh my god, the moment I start working on the car. <laughs> the way you don't have kids, people, is because they'll bring you down in the zombie apocalypse. The whole point is that the zombies are ending the earth. We should not have future progeny or it's no longer an apocalypse. It's just a temporary setback in the human race, like the Black Plague or something. You're ruining my immersion, child. It's supposed to be the end of the world, not the continuation of it. Stop having hope for the future, damn you. You're too young to know what that is. Alright. Really need to take care of ourselves in a minute. There's the food warning. Grab that caffeine for the rest. Thank you, Kef. 
beam. This in. Oh my god, why is it a large wave? Now I am convinced you cannot beat this on the first run through if this is the amount of crap you have to put up with. That's before you have to deal with the baby, too. Oh, I guess I could let the zombies numb on the fence a bit longer. I need to take care of the kid first. Oh. oh. I was about to say, okay, I can just let them break the fence. No, apparently you cannot. Alright, so we should be able to get this done real fast this time, now that we're extremely high leveled. I hope. Definitely fun though. I like this take on the uh, kind of survival genre. We need some ammo, need a lot of food, and then next time we get some baby gear. This is a very nice twist where you actually not only had you have a loop with leveling up like a rogue light, but uh, having to take care of the baby gives you actually something to care about in base that. Makes a whole lot of actual narrative sense rather than we made something up. Or, you know, we have like, oh, the big plot thing is here. It's like, no, baby, that that's everything. Something everyone can understand. Tiny person thing is defenseless and you as parent must save it. Didn't I bring one of those back? I guess I just needed... I guess I just have the kit and now I have to go get the actual stuff. Which makes sense, but is mildly frustrating. I think fitness is two points per... I think it's two points per of weight per one fitness. I think at best I'm only able to bring two car, car parts back at once. So what do we want? We would definitely want food. More stuff for the baby. Why don't we start repairing the car immediately and then worry about the other stuff just as it comes along. That seems to be the biggest, most important thing, is just getting the car fixed. Oh! I'm done. We could have gotten repair skills this whole time, too. That probably would have done a lot to get us moving. Hungry, that is dead. Have some food. Have some food for self. Getting tired, getting stressed. I think if we go to town, we might get something. We might get enough experience to level again soon. Do more parts. More baby formula. We're coming, shut up! I have zombies to shoot out here, kid. Jeez. You're gonna hear all about this when you're older, I hope you know. It's a lot of experience for taking care of them, too, so it's not just like a drag or anything. You actually. Mechanically feel rewarded for taking care of a baby. Which I don't know how realistic that is or how much you just be stressed out and tired all the time. And I don't intend to find out. So we actually have to start repairing some expenses here, I think. Okay, so I need a repair kit to repair it all. We only have one food thing left. Shut up, I'm going to town. One thing, we'll get one repair kit. Get some ammo. More formula. More food. Can I feed the baby soup? Or, I know there was some option at the table about feeding. Yeah, I got you. Shut up about it. Mommy needs her own food and then a bath. Toilet and then a bath. Zombie, get away from my fence. 
Keep your brain eating away away from my child, you filthy cultist. Oh come on, how'd I run out of ammo? Stretch relief in here. And then start that car repair again. The fence repair doesn't take super long, that's good to know. I had known the car the repair skill was this important, I would have taken it first, which I guess I should have realized when I need to repair the car. But uh, shut up. Let's make it some more food. Take care of the baby. We, you know, we'll grab a snack and then we'll take care of the baby and then we'll have actual food ready when we want. Snack does not seem to do that much, but whatever. Oops. Alright, I know you're a little young, but it's time to come with mommy and learn how to shoot a zombie. And repair a truck. Maybe just the truck one. Actually, we're going to pick up some scavenged loot off the zombies. And then we're going to learn how to repair a truck now that you've learned how to shoot zombies. These skills are important, child. Hey look, more loot outside. We're not going for that though. So three more things to fix. One fence nearly open, getting low on stats. But I think we might able be able to do this without uh, clearing off any of our stats. Repairing please. Thank you. Actually, we might make one more trip to town before we uh, finish out here, just so we can get some more resources. I know we're going to have a car and all, but uh, oh, come on! There we go. Alright, you could have some uh, food, some more hygienic, stay in there. We don't need no rest. So we want food, formula, diapers, we should be maybe ammo. But we do need some ammo. I want a fence repair kit. Ammo is light. There we go. Oh come on, we have like one more thing to fix, babies. Don't start whining now. Zombies off shooting zombies. Out of ammo again? Come on, man. We're gonna need a nap and a bath real soon, too. Come on, baby, learn how to shoot some more. Fix the spark plugs and hopefully we're out of here without worrying about our needs too much. Okay, if we escape we end the game. Interesting, so we're ready to go whenever we want. Baby, you uh... Hit snack. Quickly, press release quickly, rest quickly. Let's not not relieve stress. Come on, man. I right, murder all of you. Grab some soup. Grab some materials. What's going to matter or not if we like carry over 
Okay, anything else or that's the end of the game, period. Come on! I had it! No! Alright, fine, we're just leaving this time. You wanna do that, Gabe? We're just gonna leave this time. Don't worry about anything else, just getting the hell out of here. Shut up, kid, we're leaving. Mommy's sick of your shit. I'm sure that's been thought by more than one parent at some point. I'm gonna repair even faster, aren't you proud of me, kid? How do you feel about being stuck in a time... You know, if we are in a time loop, but our skills are maintained, doesn't that mean the baby should also be slowly growing? Because we stayed in this time loop for a long enough time, we could eventually have a fully grown child ready to fight zombies with us. That might not be a terrible idea. Although it might screw the kid up if that is all they have ever known is a time loop and never actual real passage of time life. That may cause some problems down the road now that I think about it. So the real question, can I pick up the fence after I have a full inventory out here, or does that... how does that work? I'm gonna need a lot more food, I've got a lot of stuff for the kid. Okay, so yes, I can take supplies from within here without a... Uh, without having to drop other supplies off first. Also, can you imagine the shit this poor kid's gonna get from his mother when he's older? It's gonna be like, I didn't just have to raise you, I had to raise you through like four months of you being a couple months old because of this stupid Groundhog Day shit I was stuck in. I want you to know that kid, and you didn't even age the whole time to help me out. You really owe mom. Also the whole zombies thing, but that's either here or there. So is the fence repair kit in my inventory now? Or does that automatically go when it's picked up? I think that automatically went when it was picked up. So that's nice, you don't have to worry about carrying around crap, it's just bringing it back from the uh the town. <sighs> Caffeine for now. Baby fed, top of our stats, fix that car and move on. Also, I think the bath is probably best if you use it when it's when your stress is really low, because it seems to have an exponentially growing effect of a uh, stress relief. Like it's 30 for the first moment, 45 for the next, 60 for the one after that. So it might be best to let your stress run real low. So this time we're going to repair the car. We'll make one trip to town now that we have really high stats. And we should be fine. I hope we don't lose all our skills when we beat this if we go to any other areas. Is that the last part? I can't remember what I was looking at there. We could pick up a ton of stuff from town now. Oh. Okay, good. I thought we were done there, and apparently we were not, so it's a good thing I came to town anyway, rather than wondering why the hell I can't leave. So good job, me. Also, I will say, these sprites are like such little pixel things, but any time I have tried to create one, I have always been frustrated, so kudos to anyone that actually is able to design these things and make them work, because I could never get it. Because I could never tr figure it out when I did it myself. Baby, you're distracting me from speaking. Stop doing that. Back to bed. Get off my fence. I'm hungry. Yeah, 
Yeah, screw you all too. Oh, this is a problem. No, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, kid. You have no idea how much I am starting to... Not loathe you, but these zombies, man. Did we get some, like, landmines around here? I really wish the fence was not a game over condition, but I get it. <sighs> okay, remember to keep the ammo topped off. A good quiet night. We're lucky today. Better battery. Food, 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 food. Oh, too much food. I think we had too much food last time too. Maybe we should just start periodically topping off our ammo so we don't forget. Either way, it's time for food. I also like how they have that little overhead thing above the baby, whatever you call them, that spins around for them. Okay, you wait there, Mama's gonna go to town one last time, I think one last time, and then repair the truck. It might be two last times, there's that one last item, I think, so I think it's two more times in town. Very good, more of these. Let's start repairing the car. So we do need to go to town one more time. We're gonna need more supplies. cared for again. Oh my god, just let me eat, kid. I have zombies to take care of. Alright, clean you up. Get ammo. Get whatever relief we can. Keep repairing the truck and get out of here because that's too many times we should have we should have won at this point and we screwed it up. And by we I mean you audience. Your lack of support and faith in me is what's doing this. Because as everyone knows, faith and support transcend time itself. Don't argue with me, I'm a physicist. I get to decide these things, not you. Not science. That's the secret of faith. We are really good at these long range shots. I don't even think I need to take care of anything beyond food at this point and then get the hell out of here. That is a lot of baby formula. Okay, let's, uh, food, toilet, finish this wave off, fix the truck and get out. I need ammo real quick. Right, baby, you're coming with me. I don't care what your needs are. We got zombies to shoot.
Whoops. I meant to click on repairs, not parenting, but whatever, it all works. And now we can get the hell out of here while we're super tired and stressed. Or we could try and re no, let's not. Not gonna risk it. Escape in the truck. I was gonna say, are we gonna open that? But that works. Sucks to be whoever else is here. The end, or is it? What about New Game Plus? Or modifiers? Oh, that's interesting. Fence damage, starting supplies, rogue light mode. Oh, so you could have just permadeath. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're going to New Game Plus. January 4th, we made it to the little fishing shop and house Chelsea inherited from her grandfather. Good news is she, she's okay. I spoke to her on the radio. The bad news is she's stuck at sea with no fuel and the motor on her dinghy is broken. I'll have to fix it because of course I will. Can't believe this, I thought we were safe. So if it's Adrian's first day on the planet, what does that imply? Like, is Adrian not a baby? Is Adrian an alien? So we know we need food. We generally don't need that much of anything. At least not on whatever difficulty we were playing on. I think we kept our skills, which is really nice. I don't know if any of the supplies mattered, though. Oops, not what I meant to do. Ooh, those zombies are meter to the thing now. I think at this level it should be easy and quick this time. I hope to God. Yeah, we're hungry, whatever. Go away, zombies. Well, this time we start off with the gun. Unless I got that... Last time, maybe? So it's three supply runs to town minimum. One for the toolkit, three for the items. Some more food. Desperately need to go to the bathroom. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature, but I'm holding up when I'm coming back from the supply run and it seems to be uh, walking me in faster. One more supply run should do it for us. Alright. Don't think we need ammo, but whatever. Okay, no, that's it walking back. That's not because of me. Good to know. Oh, the baby needs food. We need food. Okay, so this is a lot of food with soup. I thought it was food and rest when I first looked at this thing, but I think I figured that out now. Alright. Now we get the last part, we repair the boat, we get the fuck out, because now we are a super mob with 36 levels. We could go further, but I don't feel like doing that much work. Okay, good, we have maximum uh, repair skills. Also good to know, repairing the fence at all consumes a full kit, so wait till it's lower, but then you risk uh, bad stuff happening there. Right, you go away so I can repair my boat, please. Also, I haven't been paying attention, but is every, sh every single shot a headshot? Oh, there's a lot more stuff to repair on this one, okay. Thankfully I have super high repair skill at least. So the baby's gonna need to be changed in order to run out of food soon. Oh cool, we can fire from the dock. That is awesome. 
but we're taking care of you, baby. So if the baby's needs don't get met, something like comfort, it's not gonna die of that. That'd be like CPS shows up in the zombie apocalypse. We've heard you've been neglecting your child, like in The Sims. Uh, more stress management peas. I need some food, rest, toilet, yada yada yada. Please get away from my friends. Thank you. I'm also gonna need a major bath, although I guess we could just sit down for a minute. Okay, so the bath really is the best stress relief, because sitting down is just a small bit at a time. And I'm gonna go get some uh, fence repair kits. Because we may actually need that this time. We're good on everything else, I think, but here's some more formula just in case it ever actually mattered. I thought what I wanted snacks, please. Thank you. Get off my fence, I'm about to go take a bath. We are going to have to watch that fence from outside. Oh my god, I filled a bath. They come from my fence again. No! So close to taking a bath that I died of stress. Baby, you're going to have to like really help out with repairs one of these days. You can't just keep sleeping the day away. I'm sorry. Now we know we don't actually need any of the supplies, really. Because we never run out of any of them. Because we don't last that long. Cook up some soup. I wonder if my stats train faster the lower they are. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Management, that's technically what got us killed, not my incompetence. Thank you very much. Let's share the baby real quick. Alright, come with mommy, we're going going shopping. Too. Only Rob had gotten a stroller, he would have been here to help us. But then again, we'd have to put up his nagging and our stress relief would just be dropping all the time, so I don't know. Spice rack. Cooked meals also give stress relief until end of run. Nice. Wouldn't you have to have spices, and then wouldn't you not need the rack because you had spices in the first place, though? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That's a decent amount of stress relief, so that's good. Get off the fence. Get off the fence. I like that there are those like random little things you can find here though for the extra upgrade and that this one starts you with the rifle automatically. So let's start repairing some of the boat. One more trip to town. We needed to sleep before we leave. Several more things to fix here. Gonna need to take care of our needs and the baby's needs in a minute. Get off of my fence again, jerks. Climbing belt, fence kits, let's go. You get a bullet, and you get a bullet, and yeah, okay. You get two bullets. Refill the ammo, take care of us, take care of baby, get the hell out. Can we feed the baby out here? No, okay. You sit 
here. We're going to the toilet. De-stress real quick. Or rest real quick. Don't worry about stress. We should probably make it out before we have to de-stress. Okay, now it is just repairs and then get the fuck out. We do not need food. No, I don't think we'll need food, but in the time it takes us to fix this, we're probably cutting it close. But we will make it out! Also, where is the person? Oh no, we had to repair the dinghy to get to the person on the thingy. Okie dokie then. Also, what happens if the zombie virus or whatever it is is waterborne and survives in salt water? Because then it kind of doesn't matter where you go, you're inevitably screwed. <sighs> No, we're just going to have a snack before we leave. We'll go ahead and tempt fate. Well, that wasn't a snack, that was ammo. We're just going to leave. I was going to tempt fate. Uh, I said we shouldn't tempt fate. That's a horrible idea. We're gone now. Bye, losers. Sucks to suck. Six months later. Wow. You kids are... Kid to fully grown adult now from all the time looping. We made it! I can't believe we made it! I have a tiny infant on board a boat, and this is going to be their life. I still can't believe we made it to Chelsea. She was right where she said she would be, and I was able to refuel her ship and bring her supplies. I haven't time looped again, but then I haven't needed to. I hope I never do again. But to whatever fate or deity fluke caused it, I'm grateful. It turns out the outbreak was contained to the island. The government quarantined us on the boat for months, but now we're allowed ashore again. Thing is, I like it here. It's a simple life, but it's good. I feel as free and as safe as I have in a long, long time. And then I got scurvy. Oh, I'm coming, Adrian. You better not make me time loop again. Mom, I failed my quiz. God damn it, time loop! Yeah, this has been They Don't Sleep. I forget how much it costs, but it's pretty cheap. And it's a really good game. So kudos to Christian C. Seehausen, dedicated to my wife Emily and my daughter Jane. Game art design programming copyright to the dude. Created using Godot. Dialogue presented using the Dialogic add-on, which I think lets them translate automatically, maybe. Special thanks to Mark Valentin and Daniel's Seahausen for helping me play test and wrap this thing up. Sound designed by himself, with help with sound effects from Open Game Art and Free Sound. Special thanks to everyone that con contributes the free sound effects to the indie community. And special thanks to all public domain contributors included, but not limited to these guys, which we probably pulled some of the sounds from. Special thanks to all other contributors under other li free licenses listed below as requested and required. Turn on stove sound. <laughs> Tabasco Mosin 1, Tabasco Mosin 2, 3, and 4. Water flowing 1, running water. Energy drain, time magic. Gate 00. zero. Engines, startup, idle, and rev. Huh. Well, that was neat. Thank you for playing. But you couldn't capitalize your T in the thank you. It's an insincere thank you. No, but this is great. And the fact that, that that's all put together by one guy, it's definitely worth the five or ten bucks it costs. I don't know about ten, but it's definitely a well put together game. A very unique premise, and you like the all little pixel art stuff. I always do gameplay. Nope, 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 nope. Back, back, back. Anyway, this has been They Don't Sleep. I highly recommend you checking it out on Steam. It's only two levels, but it's really cool. Bye-bye.